Hey friends, welcome back to Freedom in a Budget and this is part three of the tutorial where we are going to go over my cash budget and how I do that in Excel um, and just a tutorial of that. Um, this is um, partly part three, like I said, so parts one and two are linked down below and also a playlist as well, which may be an easier way to get all of the videos in a row so that you can watch them and do your budget along with it. All right, so we are gonna dig right in. So far we've already done the income, regular cost, um, debt, and sinking funds. So now we have to do the principal, how I log the debt paid on that, on the debt. So I'm going to add in some cells here. Um, let's see. I don't want them to be black. Actually, these are going to be no fill. Let's see. I want quite a few of them. All right. So this is going to be principal debt paid. And I don't know why that was doing that. All right, so we are going to merge and center them. And we're gonna merge and center these. Wrap text, bring it into the middle. All right, make 42 a little bit back to normal size. Um, I did in um, increase the font a little bit, so hopefully that does help with being able to see it on your computer. Um, I'm sorry if it is hard to see is hopefully the audio is good and you can follow along that way if you can't see it. All right, so I don't know why this is all doing. Oh, because before it was linking from before. Okay, so I'm going to go January, February, March, April. So I'm just going to show you a couple months just so you guys can get the gist of it. And the way that I do this is, actually let me do one more, sorry to be jumping around guys. All right, so this I am going to do principal, okay, principal, that's not spelled right, principal. Okay, my spelling is not good today. I don't know what's going on. Interest and total. All right, so these are going to then also feed up. And we're going to make this have the all borders so it looks all good these I want over to the left and before I do that I want these ones as well these are all gonna feed into each other which I'm going to show you how to do that these I just want no fill and I'm going to have Total principal since January 2016. Total interest since January 2016. And then total debt since January 2016. Okay, and so this is just so I can kind of keep a running record of it in this. Uh, what did I do? Um, this really motivates me so that I can see like a real in your face kind of how much you're paying towards debt, how much you're paying towards principal, 
and um, the progress that you're making, which is awesome. So I'm going to do, we'll do the first couple months. So 151, 250, 299, 389, 4468, and then 4486, 89, and then 7436, 32, 65, 32, 45, 55, 73, and then you can do auto sum for all of these here, and then auto sum here, and this will do all the math for you, which is awesome. Okay, now when I do mine, I have a running tally over here. When I'm doing my Excel sheet, I have numbers all over the place of just kind of calculations that I do, or I'll kind of do the math of saying, okay, here I am at the month, how much, if um, I do everything exactly as budgeted, how much am I gonna be able to put towards debt? I got this much side hustle, how much is this gonna be able to be put towards the wedding fund and different things like that? So I always have calculations all over here. And then each time I make a debt payment, I'll log into like Navian or Net or whatever it is, and they give you the breakdown of how much went towards principal and how much went towards interest. And I do multiple transactions throughout the month. So you may see like 98.24 for principal and then 6.53 for interest. And then I'll make another payment of like $75. So it'll be like 64. 24 and then I don't know whatever the math is 9 54 I know that's wrong but that's just what's in my head and then another one of um, 86 46 and then the interest is 7 25 so then you can do the math and see how much debt they or how much interest and in principal that you've paid and um, do the math for each one of them and then I'll be able to plug these numbers in right here if they were to match that was just a rough example so then if I was doing May well first I'm going to total this so the total principal these ones right here are going to line right here so you're going to go equals and then the total enter equals interest enter equals total enter so here matches here exactly and that is what you want we're just going to take out this row here all right so then say we're doing may so i'm just going to add um, insert and we're going to do may and say it was 524.63 and then let's say 64 28 and then it does the math total for you there and it automatically changed up here so it's going to do the math for you each time which is awesome and it'll keep you motivated saying i don't want to be paying 259 dollars for interest i need to kick this dead's butt so that i'm just paying on the principal and not on the interest and that's really really going to motivate you okay so we have set up the entire budget guys this is it super easy um super fast not, doesn't take long at all and now we're gonna spend some money all right so first we're gonna get our first paycheck and say we worked a little bit of overtime so it's going to be 14 68 20 or 54 cents not much overtime but a little bit all right, so if we do the calculation, we're gonna do D63 minus um, C3. And so it's gonna show me that it is 18.54 over. And then the next paycheck, um, let's say it was, it was right on the money at 1,500. So we're gonna do the same thing, equals D4 minus C4, that was zero. And then say we got an awesome um, side hustle babysitting job that paid $350. So then we're just going to do equals 350 because it's over. Then we can auto sum this up so that we find out our actual. And then we're going to auto sum up our over under. 
and we made an extra $368 this month, which was awesome. So then we can do our percentages. So this may seem a little bit confusing, but it's gonna be super easy and we're gonna have lots of practice because we have to do it with all of these. So you're gonna go equals, click on this cell that you wanna do the percentage of, then divide by our total in under actual, and then hit enter. And this one, we have to format the cells. We haven't done that. All right, so we're gonna right click and then do format cells, percentage, two decimal places. And that is 44% of our income was from this first paycheck. I'm gonna do the same thing again. Equals under actual paycheck number two, divide it by our actual total in. Just click on it, it's gonna highlight in red. See this box here is blue and the number D4 is blue. And then this box down here is red and the number D6 is red as well. And that's 45.20% of our um, income. Then we're gonna do zero equals around the 350 divided by the 3318. Perfect. And then the same thing for this one, it's just gonna be 100%. So we're gonna do that divided by that is 100%. All right, so now I'm gonna do these for all of them just so that we can get it in the habit here. So we're gonna do equals actual divided by Oh, these need to be formulated as well. Format cells, percentage two. I'll do these ones while we're at it. So I'm gonna do all of these, and then as we put in the numbers, you'll be able to see how they change. Um, format cells, percentage. Okay, so these are all gonna become zero but you can see how I'm doing them. So, and it's always gonna be, we're dividing into this number here. So always click on that cell divided by the actual. And it goes super quickly. I'm taking my time now just so you guys can see. We'll be done within the minute. Okay, then we're gonna do this one. You could type in these formulas as well, um, depending on whatever is faster for you. Um, either typing them or just clicking the buttons. And this one we're not gonna do actually. I'll come back to that one. All right, three more. Four more, I'm sorry. All right, so we did all that. All right, so now let's spend some money. All right, so right off the bat, we are going to do our tithe because God comes first. Then we are going to pay our rent. And then around the third of the month, the rent insurance comes out, so we pay that. And then Netflix comes out. And then we have to go to the grocery store, right? Because we're, we're hungry. So it's the, let's say the 10th. Um, actually, no, it's a little bit. We're, we'll do the 14th. 16, and we're going all D. And this time we are spending 54.26. And then, and then we have to go and, where are we gonna go to eat? Um, let's go to Starbucks. I'm a Starbucks girl, I hate to admit it. And we're gonna spend 463. 
All right, and then we got another paycheck and this paycheck came in so we can pay some of the other bills. So then our electric was a little bit under, it was 54.62, which was awesome. And then our gym membership came out and that's the same every single month. Oh, but then we're driving around a lot. So we had to get gas, of course. So it's the 15th and we got gas and it was 21.75. And then we went to the store with our girlfriend. And then, where did we go? We went to Marshall's and we got a cute top because it was cute. And it was 11.58. Then, what else did we do? Oh, and then our Weight Watchers came out. That's important. Oh, we can actually total this in, guys. All right. So then, oh, then we, oh no, we're gonna pay our debt after. So then we had, oh no, our debt, yeah. So we had to pay minimum. So it was car no time. So we had to pay our car insurance. And then, oh, why is that like that? Let's format that correctly. We want a date. And that was 10, 5, 16. And then, hmm, we went out again. Yeah, let's see, it was the 20th of the month and we wanted some more Chick-fil-A because it's delicious and who doesn't like lots of Chick-fil-A? And then it was time to pay our student loan number two. It was that date of the month. And then we had to get some more gas so 25th gas, and that was 22.75. And then, oh, it was time to pay the internet bill and the iPhone bill. All right, and then we had to go to Aldi again. 25th, 16th, Aldi, and we spent 49.52. No, I'm sorry, we spent 44.52. All right. And then this other bill came out. The other car loan for $100 came out. All righty. So pretty much everything is taken care of. This pocket money, we only used two cells, um, two rows, so we can delete these other ones to kind of clean them up a little bit now that we have them all there. Or if we wanted to, we can always add them as well. Um, so they can be added or removed as needed. Super easy. All right, so if we look, you know what, actually let's do these. Um, these here, so we're gonna go and see how we did. All right, so for this one, we're gonna go budgeted minus actual so that we get our amount to see how over or under we are. And most of these are zero, which is great. And a lot of these are fixed expenses so that we know exactly how much they're gonna be each month. Exactly, exactly, exactly. And I also want to point out that um, all of these th three, four items here, the groceries, pack money, eating out, and gas, they all flooded over. So 199.92, that's from this. The 1945, they all flooded over. And this is the only way, guys, that I can stay accountable to how much I'm spending. And I have to log every single transaction. If I don't, I'm gonna overspend and it's not gonna be pretty. So we have done all of the fixed expenses here. Um, and I'm gonna cut the video now. And in the fourth video, the final one, we're gonna show you how I allocate this last $772.15 and how it's gonna go on to our debt and how we're gonna do that. And then also how we're gonna prepare for next month's budget and get that all set up. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out all the other links down below in the description. 
of parts one, two, and three will be listed down there as well as the um, playlist. So thank you so much for watching and have an awesome night.